Hello, my Leos. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pound. Nice to meet you. Um, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And if you're new and you like my vibe, hit subscribe and hit the bell. You'll see a little bell right here below this video. Hit the bell and hit all so you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you and I love you. Here we go, Leo. Your core representation as Leo is fearless, loyal, and confident. You're lively in all you do. Leo brings the sunshine to any situation. You create ways to keep life exciting. You are a hard worker and a good provider. Your essence is warm, witty, and generous, and impressive. You like to entertain, and you keep things fun as heck. You take pride in pleasing others as a leader or a generous host. Your talents are multiple and are appreciated and admired by others. You are an incredible manifester. You have the passion and charisma to draw all the abundance that you want into your life. That's what you need to do now, Leo. You need to manifest this into your life, okay? Let me see. What is Leo, Spirit? Oh, I've been pulling out one. Oh, ethereal. I love you, Spirit. <coughs> so, Leo, you work with the elements of air and spirit. To create new awareness on earth. Ooh. This sounds good for me. <laughs> okay. What else? What else for Leo? Leo's. What's Leo need to know? What's about Twin Flame Ascension? So you need to work with the element of air if you're not. Oh, I love you, spirit. You're so funny. You're just the funniest, the funniest. You're so funny. Ooh. ooh. And I la, 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 love you, spirit. All right, so here's what it's saying. It says, chosen one, fast track to ascension. Oh, you're chosen. Oh, divine order got called. You got to practice patience, though. Yeah, you had to practice patience and harmonize and let your light shine out onto the world. See, that's what you do. That's what Leos do, okay? Leo's sun sign. You like that? You're the darn sun. High priest, personal empowerment, nine, nine. Okay? So you're a chosen one. Divine order got called. This, you're letting your light shine. You're you're empowering. You have a lot of personal empowerment, enthusiasm about yourself. That's what it is, Leo. And people notice it. That yes, they notice. Don't you think that they don't? Somebody, somebody knows that you you work in stillness. That you like to work. Uh, you don't mind if you had to work by yourself. That's what a lot of people know about you. Okay. What else? What else for Leo? We love you, Spirit. We thank you so very much. Oh, we love you so much. Oh, we knew it. And we did it. And we knew that. Hang on, I'll be getting six. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, here, here we go. You got to practice patience, you know, because it was, it said in divine order, didn't it? So, you know that you got to work patiently uh, in, in this um, spiritual, you, it's, it's all a slow process, but it's okay. This is your sacred journey. Enjoy the journey, you all. 344, I mean, it is a long and arduous journey, but let me tell you something. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Do y'all think I'm already through mine? No. Uh -uh. Nope. It's ever so growing all the time. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. You got to work with the elements to help you. You you had to you got to put an ending and a in a death to something or or but with a lot of different relationships you might have had to do it and with addictions and with habits you you got to put a death to. You got to put a death to, there, somebody is trying to put a death to letting your light shine. See, let your light shine. Someone's trying to uh, keep you away from your spiritual practice or calling. That's what it said. You need to protect yourself with prayers at the moment so people can't take what you built. Trust me. They are trying, uh, this is um, a sacred memory, it also says. What I think it's saying is, they're trying to wipe your memories clean. See how this looks like the back of a woman's hair and like something, like she's got something over her hair, but this is a moth. 
but it looks like her arms is open, like, from behind, going like, ah, or something. Did you see that shit? But, yeah, uh, you got a lot of sacred memories and, and about, and also about death, and I do. I can speak about death and how my stepson talks to me sometimes, and he does. Somebody wants to collaborate with you, and it might be a high priest, uh, from another part of the world that you don't even know about. They might be the ones that is uh, trying to put a death to your beginning of a, of a, whatever kind of job you're doing online. Are you listening? Whatever, whatever you do online, they're trying to put a death to it. Or in real life, take the story as it goes, but that's all I know, you guys, and that's what it said. Get these cards out too. I'm gonna pull out one more. I don't know which one it is. I pulled out this and it's okay. So uh, you need to use logic and intuition, mind heart connection, integrate logic and intuition. Don't let your emotions overpower your intelligence. Create a balance between your mind and heart where you honor. Both your thoughts and feelings. Try to make your decisions based on a perfect blend of intuition and intellect. That's what you need to do, okay, Leo? And you can do it. And express your appreciation. Give back. Count your blessings. A grateful heart will always attract more to be grateful for. Practice viewing your day-to-day -day world from a point of view of gratitude and appreciate all that is going good in your life. You'll be amazed at the goodness that we can sometimes take for granted. That's true. That is so damn true. Don't take shit for granted. In order to become balanced, you got to practice gratitude many, many times a day. Be grateful for the lights. Be drink, be grateful for light switches. Be grateful that um, you are in good health to tie your tennis shoes. Yeah, be grateful of things like that because at any time, that shit can be took from us. Things that we uh, overlook in our lives. And, and I and I learned that when my son passed away. That's why I can help lead others, okay? Yeah. I mean, um, that's what I do. You know, uh, I'm trying to lead y'all to do something that you're passionate about. But I'm letting you right know right now, not everybody's meant to be a, a tarot teacher. Especially when you're in your 20s. No. You need to strengthen your independence some more. You ain't lived enough. I'm sorry, but I love you. But you, you need to listen. Nobody's against you. Smart people's trying to help you because, you know, you're not, you'll see what I'm talking about. Some of you all understand what I'm talking about. Spend time in solitude, codependency. Want nor need learning how to be solitary is essential for the art of loving. When we can comfortably be alone, we can be with others without using them as a means of escape. Take some time to embrace and appreciate your own company. See, I do this 14 or 15 hours a day. I know what this fucking means. I don't care if what everybody else says. I know what this means. I do it every day. I know how to be by myself in a long time. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Here, now, let me give you something else. What else for Leo? Leo. Uh, thank you for that spirit. I love you. You're so funny. You're the funniest shit spirit. I love you. So funny. <laughs> so here we go, J -j 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 you guys. It says, I'm your favorite stalker and your worst nightmare. Ooh. Somebody, uh, they smile at you because your beauty is too stunning. And the shadow side would be, I sit outside and watch you of the night around 11, 11. I tend to try to make you notice me. So, pay attention, 11, 11. Pay attention to your uh, intuition and signs when it's 11, 11. Somebody might be creeping around 9, 11. They might be creeping around your house. Um, or stalking. They're definitely stalking your social media pages. They're getting background checks and everything. Uh, gambler. Um... Willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. This stalker is wanting you to doubt your... This stalker is wanting you to follow your intuition. To not follow your intuition and go outside when I told you at nighttime. When you hear something around your house, you better go outside. Because there's a lot of people in the world that will come around and... If they're uh, psycho you know, psychopaths, they would stalk and not even try to uh, 
talk to you like with common sense. You know, a normal person would be like, hey, are you home? Yeah. Come on in, buddy. Let's talk. Oh, well, that's not what that is. That's somebody that is uh, infatuated. They're, they're in dark lust. That's what that means. And they're fucking got a lot of childhood wounds. It blames all their dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Resist moving on through forgiveness. People like this, uh, well, you, you got to forgive things that's happened in your past, you all. And I have. I, I don't care what anybody says. I've had a lot of shit happen to me in my childhood. And I forgive the people that fucked me over. Are you listening? You have to so you can move move. So you can learn to move in compassion and desire to sub serve other wounded children. When you serve in other wounded children, you got to open up and be honest of what happened in your life. And if you never do that, you're not a good person to look up to. I'm sorry, that's not a good person. And I'm I, and I'm one of them persons. Go look in all my playlists, collective, and, and you'll see. You'll see I'm that. I tell y'all all this shit that's happened in my life. Watch my videos. Watch, watch, watch. I'm the only reader that does that. And that's why they're stalking me. Oh, queen. And they're in their dark side. It's a woman. Because arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling and demanding. This is a, this is a, this bitch is sideways. She's a sideways bitch. That's what it's saying. She does everything the wrong sneaky way. That's what it said to me. What else? Sorry, but it is. Uh, and this says, Ooh, that's Twilight. Each zodiac sign has a color that is often considered lucky and can bring success and growth. Here is a list so you can identify the color that is luckiest for your sign. To boost your luck and live more confidently by using your zodiac specific color in different areas of your everyday life. Okay, pay attention. Aries, red. Taurus, green. Gemini, yellow. Cancer, white, silver. Leo, gold. Gold, Leo. Virgo, green. Libra, light blue. Scorpio, black. Sagittarius, orange. Capricorn, brown. Aquarius, blue. Pisces, sea green. So whoever you love, if you want to attract them, wear their color or your color, and this will attract them to you. Are you listening? Okay, that's all you got to do. And one of these, and that's all. One of these. Spill it. You can't do that, Benny. Spirit, what for Leo? One more. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so here what it said. <laughs> You can watch this reading if Leo is anywhere in your chart, too, okay? I, I don't discriminate on things like that. Oh, three of coins. Somebody wants to work with you. This is Julius Sneezer. This is um, asking help from others is the best way to get what you want. Embrace advice from others. That's what you need to do. You're embracing advice from others at the moment in your community. And Page of Swords, this is Greaser Greg. <laughs> And, you know, this is inquisitive person, gift of gab, full of innovative ideas. You're full of innovative ideas. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, judgment. Ooh, look here. Judge, judge, judgment. I think judgment is Scorpio, ain't it? Or Sagittarius. Um, yeah, I see the little, the little heads. The little, it looks like Halloween mask or something, don't it? I believe that is Scorpio. Uh, this is Boney Tony, and this is, uh, represents karmic. Karmic something to provide. Time to find your true, time to find your true calling. Judgment. This is time to find your true calling in this deck. That's what it means, you all. Okay. Oh, the hermit. I love this one for you, Leo. I got a Leo. Uh, my Lord knows Leo, and I'm in my calling. Sappy, Sappy Sandy. I believe it said. And this is time alone. Slow down, and uh, you're in hermit mode at the moment. You're 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 slowed down. You you you've disattached from people because. 
There's a there's people in your community that was judging you and, and your innovative ideas. They was judging you and and you feel like it you're safe in hermit mode and that's how you're becoming you become a star. <laughs> you know, and it's this hopeful head of, this is trusting all will be well. Staying positive and and staying out of trouble. That's what you're doing. You're staying positive and you're staying out of trouble. And that's how you're going to become a star. And I'm a star Aquarius Leo, if you was interested. Yeah, I am. Oh, let me give you a little message. And uh, I hope that you all liked. Ooh, it give it too fast to you, Wildy Woody. It said, it said, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Somebody loves you. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Put this around you and your partner and heal them with like that light pink, kind of like this, but pinkish more. You know, uh, that rose quartz color. I don't know where my thing is. But rose quartz. Put that around you and your uh, partner. Uh, oh, I already read that. Uh, new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Somebody's waiting on you. Your beloved is is praying that you hurry up and heal, Star Leo, and get out of down uh, hermit mode. They want to see you so big. That's what it is. And I love you, Leo. And if you like how I did, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And I love you and I welcome you. I can do readings for you, Leo, because I have Leo North Node. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. Oracle, come on back and visit me sometimes. I love you guys and papa peace. Hope this helped.